Well, hello everyone, I'm Yanni from BU for You Gaming, and today it is time to continue our investigation in Whispers of a Machine. So, let's see. Oh, Rolf that's Ralph. Busy. I'll oh. leave him to his work. Ah, you never want to talk to anyone. Well, that's probably a good idea because otherwise I get sidetracked. Oh, maybe this is what the, he was referring to. More runes. Seems to be a common thing in Nordsund. Uh, the doctor, when, when we were talking about these runes that he thought was Maya's work. Aha. Uh -huh. We have looked at them before, I just forgot about them completely. Oh, look at the flowers. Very nice. Looks like I was right about the flowers. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe he got inspired and decided to make it into flowers, whatever it was he had originally decided to paint. Who knows? Yeah, well, let's try and go up here. Oh, hello. That's our young poet, right? Change of venue? Yes, this is where the recital will take place later. Great acoustics. Ah, can I have a little foretaste? Very well. <clears throat> the same wind, my dear. The same wind. Shook the walls of Jericho. Dried your tears. No Lee to be found. No trust, nor joy. This fire you were set to guard, and I to rest by its side. Your books and notes in disarray. It all seeks to delay us, while you face increasing chaos. That was great. I love the ending. You're too kind. <laughs> Quite interesting. Uh, okay, so we have the stairs. I think this was where Epos, Epos was supposed, supposed to be, right? We did check the elevator, but that was Doesn't broken, right? Functional. Yeah. There's probably a staircase somewhere. Ah, uh -huh, so we want to go there. Then there was Maybe a cafe. Later. I don't feel an urge for a coffee break right now. Uh -huh. uh, let's see. Stairs up. Yep, yep, yep. And there was the broken windows, but we already looked at those. So let's try and see what is up here. Oh, interesting. Uh -huh. Oh, we have a little birdie. Can we do it? No, it doesn't look like we can click on that. Uh... Hi there. Greetings, and welcome to the Free Church of Epos. If you wish, you can enter our public prayer room to the right for some silent contemplation. All right, thanks. What about the rest of the church? The other areas are off limits to non-members. I have official police business, though. Special Agent Angland. I'm sorry, but I can't let you pass. You're gonna need papers. This is a diplomatic sanctuary. There's no time for that. I'm trying to solve a triple homicide. I'm sorry to hear that, ma'am. But I can assure you that there are no murderers here. I'd suggest you take this up with your superior. There's <laughs> no time to mess around with paperwork. I'll need to take things into my own hands. Hmm, okay, so this is probably where our new augment is gonna come in handy, but I think if we use that right in front of him, you will probably find it a little suspicious, right guys? So we have a door, we have some pictures over there. I'd guess those are members of the church. I don't recognize any of them. Ah, okay, so... Ooh, candles. A neat row of candles, probably for ceremonial use. That would make sense. What is this up here? Looks like someone has splattered something on the wall. Okay, we have some tables and everything. We have a very curious bird over here. Uh, and then, of course, we can go in there. Uh, oh, logo. A fancy looking E. It's the Epos logo, I believe. Yeah, that would make sense. Looks like some kind of public prayer room or chapel. There are a few people in there. Uh, Looks like some kind Okay, so we can't go in there. Um... I'm just kind of thinking it doesn't make sense to use the cloak right in front of him. We can't pick anything up. Okay, he's got his back turned. Let's I try. I don't and... have a reason to go around unseen in here. Uh, okay, so you're gonna want me to do that right here. That doesn't seem suspicious at all. We just go invisible, right? I need to get out of sight first. Oh, okay. So she kind of just walked behind the the wall, I guess. Uh, let's try and go through here. Good thing the door was open, otherwise he would probably notice. Do we have another guard? What is this? What is that noise? Thou shalt have no other gods before me. 
Exodus 23. Suppose it wouldn't be a church without a Bible quote or two. Hmm, that makes sense. Sturdy looking filing cabinet. Hmm, okay. Oh, ventilation. A ventilation panel. Can't reach it from here. Uh, it's a bit high up. Uh, okay, so we have another guard. I don't really want to talk to him, I just wanted to kind of see if we can. Looks think. like a timeline of how the EPO seal has changed over the years. Ew, but this one kind of looks like this, right? Yeah. No way. It's the tattoo design. That must mean Leonard is a member of EPOS. Or, well, he was at some point at least. Hmm, that makes sense. I'll get rid of the sketch now that I've identified the symbol. Okay, cool. So we have another doorway and a door there. What happens if I click on him? If he notices me, I'm likely in big trouble. Yeah, I think so too. Isn't that a <laughs> rifle or something he's standing there with? Okay, so let's try and see what's in here. Hmm. It says LD on this box right here. That's gotta be Leonard Dahl. Ooh. Locked, obviously. Yeah, but we do have this key. Got a written piece of paper. That says... Well, Master Otto, if you are reading this, it means that I have failed. I'm sorry, but I didn't want to involve the church unless absolutely necessary. My brother has some things for you. They will be self-explanatory. I told him to only give them up to the person who repeats the famous quote from my favorite book. I'm sure you remember. Blessings from Leonard, your most humble and loyal servant. Seems like Leonard was up to something shady. I'll have to find his brother and figure out what the quote is. Yeah. That makes sense. Aha, uh -huh, book quote. Well, there was a lot of books in Leonard's room, right? In the recycling center. Uh, so that might be helpful, but still, it doesn't help unless you know which book you want to use, right? Some kind of large pool or bathtub. Hmm. Maybe they're doing initiations or like baptisms or something here. Oh, might be a good idea. Can I hide? Yes. <laughs> Let's do that. Because we don't know if anyone is here, so... Some kind of assembly hall with plenty of people inside. I should stay clear. Ah, that's probably a good idea. So let's see if there's anything. Oh, there's a faucet. Uh -huh. Okay. No need to do that again. Okay, but eventually this is gonna overrun, right? Hmm. Hmm. Is there anything else? Pool doorway. Okay. Well. <laughs> well, it might attract people, though, if the water starts flowing out into the the hallway. You see, All even right. went over Let's here. See All if right. this works. Ah, yeah. What the heck? Mm -hmm. That should keep him busy for a while. Hmm. But we could have thought that... Locked. Yeah. Okay. Then there's another room here. Some kind of metal workshop, with a few men working on what looks like construction materials. The room is a dead end, so I'll avoid it. Ah, okay, that's why we want to get rid of the guard, of course, because we want this door, so... Locked. Damn. Um... Well, we... Uh, do, do, do. Can you use the scalpel? I don't see how those things work no? together. <laughs> well, we don't have a key. Mm. And I don't think there's any way, other way we can find it. Well, we have a muscle. Can we break it? Oh, it still won't budge. I'll have to find another way. Uh-huh. So, enhanced vision, muscle boost, biometric, forensic scanner. Hmm... Then we have a handgun, I don't think. <laughs> I don't want to shoot that. Nope. Okay, so how do we get in there? I wonder. 
I oh. should stay away while the guard is in there. Um, okay, so do I have to get a, get a key from somewhere else, maybe? Not right now. I should explore this place while I have a chance. Yeah, that would make sense. So... Huh. Um... I have no idea what we're supposed to do. I don't see do. anything out of the ordinary. <laughs> nope. Okay. Um, biometric. Yeah, disconnected. That would make sense. There's no one here. Um, I don't know. The only thing I can think of to use is the muscle boost. Oh, still won't budge. I'll have to find another way. Hmm. Hmm. Um, okay. Do, 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 do. Huh. This noise is pretty annoying. <laughs> okay, well we the have the ventilation. Oh, can't, can't reach it from here. But like, can we climb on top of this? Oh, we can push it. Uh huh. So. Uh, All right, it's loose now. Nice. Okay, can I get... Ah, yeah, okay, nice. Yeah, so... Yeah, well, there's a big vent over here, nothing else. Okay, so let's go over here. <laughs> Six new members over the last month. The Bacarbo Parish is also doing better now. They managed to resolve their financial difficulties? Oh yes, Elsa is doing great work there. Sending her on our behalf was the right call. That brings us to the subject of these horrid murders. Vile acts for certain. I pray that the church will stay clear of any blame. Why shouldn't it? We had nothing to do with those atrocities. I know that, old friend. But surely our enemies will not ignore an opportunity like this. Oh, I suppose so. Our violent past coming back to haunt us. Sadly, the fact that one of our people was victimized will inevitably draw eyes upon the church. Yes, maybe it's in our best interest to invite the police as a gesture of good faith. It would certainly show them that we have nothing to hide. Very well. Let's bring the subject to a vote at the council tonight. Hmm. Hmm. At the very least, it seems like the church leadership didn't sanction the murders. I'll wait a bit and see if they leave. Ooh, okay, so we made it into the library. Do we have an oh I'm here. I don't think it's safe to go back that No, that's not right. I would <laughs> just wanted to see if she had anything to say about it. Administrative paperwork. Uh, that makes sense. Okay. So we have lots and lots of bookshelves, bookshelves, exit, even more bookshelves. Uh, wow, <laughs> that's a lot of books. They have an impressive library here. Indeed they do. Probably lots of interesting things to read. Wow, that's a lot of book. Uh, okay, so exit. Uh, we have some kind of calm over here. Hmm. Well. Welcome, that's... visitor. Oh, uh... Aha. Uh -huh. Special Agent, Violent Crimes, Central Bureau. Oh, it's you again. The man from the train. Indeed. I never forget her face, but I'm afraid I didn't catch your name. It's Agent England. Ah, I am Vilgut. I assume you are aware of our legal status. Yes, I've been informed. But tell me this. If you had nothing to hide, why would you invoke said legal status? A church needn't have things to hide to be protective of its privacy. But to prove you wrong, I'll answer any questions you might have. All right. I'll take you up on that. 
Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Do you recognize this woman? I do. That's one of the teachers, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that pretty much sums up what I know about her. Hmm. Okay. I don't need to show him that. No. Um. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. I'll keep it to myself. I don't want the church to know. That too. makes sense. Recognize this? I do. Read it even many years ago. Know thy enemy? Something like that. <laughs> what do you know about the murder in the workshop hall? Not much at all. Only that a carpenter was brutally killed there in the night. What do you know about the murder in the museum? Only what my fellow church members have told me. That Maya Strand was stabbed to death by a mysterious killer. So Leonard Dahl, one of your members, was killed yesterday. I had a feeling your inquiry would lead us to him. Can you think of anyone who would want him dead? No. He was a loyal member of the church for many years. Kind of a loner, but always helpful and polite. He did have a strangeness to him, though. A look in his eyes like he was stuck in perpetual contemplation. It seemed as if he was constantly on the verge of, but never quite able to reach, some sort of profound revelation. Hmm. Any hint of a violent side to him? No. To my knowledge, Leonard never committed any violence, nor did he express any desire to do so. Ah, now I'm forgetting this again. <laughs> oh, because I was so curious to see what he wanted to say. Okay. What's your take on the conduit? Oh, those heretics? Haven't heard anything of them in many years. As far as I know, they are firmly confined to the ash heap of history by now. Some might argue with that. Your church has a violent past with them, hasn't it? There's no denying that. We fought many battles with their kind in the youth of our movement. And now? Don't be absurd. They are practically eradicated, and we have been a peaceful group for decades. What do you think about their teachings, then? Certainly dangerous doctrines if left unchecked. The conduit believes humans will create God in their image, instead of the other way around. In their folly, they forget that humans are flawed, and that their creations will inevitably inherit those flaws. The false god they aspire to create may demand sacrifices they're not prepared for. This church, Epos, what are your teachings? At our core, we are an orthodox Christian church. We believe in the one true God and his only son, Jesus Christ. And what sets your group apart from other Christians? Two things. The reverence of the essential humanity in each and every one of us, and our stalwart opposition to false idols. Prior to the collapse, the great flood of our time, we arose as a reaction to the disgraceful habits of that era. The widespread worship of anything and everything but God. Wealth, fame, mindless pleasure, the sickening mutilation of our bodies to the point where some were more machine than human, and the worst of all, the pursuit of AI superintelligences. False gods that humans aspired to construct for themselves. We oppose it all for the glory of our creator and the salvation in our future. And how do you go about preventing people from worshiping these false gods? Not by violence, if that's what you're implying. Such things belong to the past. So it's just a coincidence that the only armed man I've seen in Nordson was right behind your doors? Sadly, the world is still in a state where men with guns are a necessary evil. However, no laws have been broken. We have every right to bear arms. Do you know what kinds of books Leonard liked to read? Hmm. Uh, one book he borrowed frequently was The Kingdom of God is Within You. In fact, it still hasn't been returned. It should be among his estate. Would you be able to say if he had any favorite quotes from that book? No, you should ask someone who spent more time with him. Fine, I'll do that. What kind of book is it anyway? It's about nonviolence, to summarize. Got it. Thanks. Okay, so now we have the book, then we have to find the quotes. Um, what do you know about Carl Oscarson? I must confess I didn't even know his name before I heard he was a murder victim. Do you know who Katarina Berg is, the school teacher? She also calls herself Melinda. 
I believe I've seen her around town with the school children, but I don't know much about her. What do you think of Commissary Anderson? He's no member of the church, but he's a fine man blessed with strong Christian morals. Compassionate, forgiving, and open-minded. I was good friends with his late father, and I'm glad to see that his son followed in his footsteps. <laughs> now he sounds like a, a really like a grandfather or something. What's your opinion on Stina Ruth? Cunning woman, that one. And she's been a thorn in our side ever since she joined the town council. Yeah? How so? She has a penchant for political obstruction. Things like hindering our building permits or imposing unreasonable restrictions on our street preaching. Hmm. Why do you think she's been acting that way? If I had to hazard a guess, I'd say she has some kind of grudge. Some Christian out there must have greatly angered her at some point. Hmm. What's your opinion on Maya Strand? She was my polar opposite in almost every way. But I enjoyed the occasional late-night chess game with her in the canteen. It's fascinating how trivial activities like board games can bring such different people together. Goes without saying that I was as shocked and appalled as anyone when I learned of what happened to her. He's actually right about that, which is also what I find interesting. Well, when it comes to games, not just board games, but games like these games that we play, how many different types of people who uh, love to game, and that's quite interesting. Um, What's your opinion on Dr. Pearson? He and I have quite different takes on life and death, to put it lightly. But alas, a man of my age needs to see a physician regularly to keep the Grim Reaper at bay. So I grit my teeth and endure half an hour of his morbid humor for the sake of my health. Oh yeah, I wouldn't like going to that doctor. <laughs> I think I would go to the doctor in the town in the next town over or something. What do you think of Gabriel? <laughs> Kurt's nephew. Well, we only met briefly a few times. What do you think of Walter? I don't know him well, but he seems like the kind of man who plays the part of the clown to hide a deep wound. Mm, yeah, that actually is quite the impression I would get too. Do you know who Leonard Dahl's brother is? I believe his name is Rolf. Quite a shady character, if you ask me. Oh, the gardener, right? Yes, that's him. And now we have a reason to go and talk to him. Oh, there we go. What can you tell me about Rolf? Not my favorite person. He mocked the Lord when I first met him, and I don't take kindly to that sort of behavior. Okay, I think that is everything I want to talk to him That's about. for now. Understood. I'll be here if you have more inquiries. Okay, so can we go out this way, or do we have to go out the same way? Well, he shouldn't. They shouldn't get uh, um, angry with me now because he has kind of allowed me to be here now, right? Okay. Oh, the passage led back here. Good. Since I left the door unlocked behind me, I'll be able to come back the same way. Oh, that's handy. That is handy indeed. Um, okay, so that is it for today, guys. Next time we are going to go and track down Rolf and see if he can give us some hints to find the right book quote. So thank you for watching and as always, do take care and happy gaming.